Team Terry from the Hardwick, Abergavenny, just outside Abergavenny. Our philosophy is based on simple produce, um, local, where, where, where possible, which is quite a lot. I mean, all our livestock and most of our veg is local. But what we don't get locally, you know, we get some nice stuff from Italy, France and Spain, but that's it, we don't get anything further than that. that whole less is more philosophy because you know being clever is respecting the produce and you know bringing out the best of you know things like this I mean just beautiful local courgettes and flowers you know fantastic organic you know local tomatoes you know we've got an organic farm behind the scene just it's just that to me is the pleasure I get from 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 my work okay so uh, just want to just cook a very simple it's a spaghetti, it could be pasta, it could be penne. You know, the thing is, we don't really sort of work from recipes at the Hardwick because and any of these boys around me will tell you that. There are, you know, how many recipes have I given you, Nathan? No, here we are, I see. <laughs> pastry over there has got recipes because pastry is more of a science. But, but, in, but you, know, it's, you know, I'm trying to sort of teach people how to cook. It's, it's uh, the, pr the principles of, of cooking. So we're going to do a, just a very simple, I mean, I love pasta, spaghetti, pasta dish. So we're going to do a simple pasta dish. So style off with a good quality olive oil. And we use a nice, uh, a nice Greek one, extra virgin, which I like, you know. On the table with the bread, we've got a nice Tuscan one. But I mean, you know, Spain's got olive oil, France has got olive oil, everyone's got olive oil. Nice liberal sort of piece, and plenty of oil like that. Because what it is with the, with the pasta dish, is something a lot of people don't realise, and, and I was included in that until I worked with an Italian, is that the oil and the water that comes off the pasta, either spaghetti, that emulsifies and makes a sauce. So, you know, otherwise the pasta dish can be quite dry. Yeah, so we're going to start off with a little bit of shallot, a little bit of chilli, a little bit of garlic. Now, it doesn't have to be a lot of each, but this sort of adds a, sort of a base to the, to the dish. And it's, 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 it's quite a classical way to start off, you know, a lot of sort of pasta dishes. I'm just going to lose a wee bit of chilli just off the end without the seeds. You could always put a little bit of dry chilli in. I'm just going to, that's all I'm going to put in for that. And a wee bit of garlic, which you can, you can slice, you can chop. Just like so. And again, you know, you, you, you can put as much or as little chilli, garlic in. You know, it's, it's, a, it's up to your personal taste, you know. So that's just... We just want to soft, soften those. So there's no recipe like, oh, you need two shallots or this or whatever, you know. It's, it's as much as, or as little as you want. These are the courgettes, locally grown. I'm going to take the, the flowers off because we're finished with the flowers. And while that's softening there, and this is a great sort of, you know, nice way of heating. It's a, it's a solid top. It, you know, most people will have a gas top. It, as you can see, that's already sort of uh, starting to soften already. So we've just, the, the heat radiates out from the centre. So we'll just pull it off to the, the side slightly. Just top and tail the courgettes. I've got yellow and green here, but you know, you can use, I mean, I'm just going to slice these. Like so. And also I'm going to add these beautiful little, look at that, organic tomato. Just try that. It's just like, I'm just soften these as well before we add the courgettes. You know, it's such a, it's such a privilege to be able to get that sort of um, produce on your doorstep. I mean, last night I just made uh, tomato sauce and spaghetti for the kids with tuna, and I, um, I grated, grated courgette into it. And it's a nice way to put courgette into a dish, just to grate it, you know, if it's a big fat one. There's the seeds. So the tomatoes will start to cook down, but to give those a couple of minutes just to cook down, and the juices will come out of the tomatoes and mix with the oil to stop that sort of, you know, sort of catching. So the other thing we need is um, a little bit of salt. We use this salt, it's like a, it's a, it's a Halamon um, Anglesey sea salt, which I swear by, because it's just fantastic flavour. Salt will bring up the flavour of the tomatoes. I mean, it depends who you're cooking for as to how much salt you're going to put in. I don't put, a lot of salt, I don't put any salt in the children's food. I add those courgettes in now. And the other thing we'll do to add a little bit of acidity, um, along with the tomatoes, will be um, so a few capers. I love using capers. It's one of those things, again, it's sort of... A lot of people don't know what capers are or where they come from, but the thing is, it adds a nice acidity into the dish. It makes you salivate. It stimulates the saliva glands. So just rip those courgette flowers. They're going to be wilted at the end. And the thing is with courgettes, like they, you know, they, they, they cook in, you know, in, in minutes. So 
Well, that's, that's fine now, don't you? That's cooking down now. So here we've got some, um, I use these little, li so we call lily put capers. They're just like little tiny capers. So we put a bunch of those in. We've also got a little bit of uh, black olive. So just squeeze those off the stone. We always use olives on the stone. I think the ones that are pitted, the, the brine that they're put in, it just soaks it all up too much from the inside. So we'll add those in now, the courgette flowers. Start to wilt those down. You've got a small ladle down, please. Here's our spaghetti here that's just been blanched. Whack that in the basket. Like that. Thank you. I'm going to pop that in the, uh, in the water that's boiling there. I'm going to put a wee bit of water on there already. Another thing that's quite nice, we'll put a little bit of rocket in there. We'll put a little bit of rocket. So you see Dan's got in here. This is another salad. This is with chorizo, same courgettes, potato, and everything fries in the chorizo oil. Serve that with nice leaves, creme fraiche, salt like. And also we've got some lovely Spanish sorted almonds that go on there as well. Don't forget. Yeah, you got the sorted almonds, Dan, don't forget. So that's enough wilted now, so like that. So now the spaghetti is ready. So if you can see some of the water goes in the pan. Season. A little splash of oil, a little more salt. Very hot, very tasty, nutritious, and we're going to finish with. I'm going to put some pecorino on. I love my cheese. And that's it, that's it, that's all it is. You know, it's nice and, nice and hot. I mean, it's just tasty, isn't it? You know. Get in there. It is pretty hot.